Welcome back to the channel and thank you for watching and thanks so many of you for smashing that like button on the way in and for subscribing. My subscribers are going through the roof. I am really, truly, humbly grateful. So thank you very much. So in this video, I've aptly titled it When the Truth Reveals the Truth because I've rewatched this interview. You might think I'm mad, but I've rewatched this interview a number of times to pick out bits and pieces which I find interesting as a lawyer turning on the wording, the phrasing, the psychology, the behavior, the emotions, and ultimately what a lot of people think of as deception. And the jury obviously agreed with that. So in this particular wording, talking about the op-ed, now I felt watching it again, and I did mention this in my previous video, I'm sure, in passing, but I wanted to do a little outtake clip of this to explain it. Now, when she talks of the op-ed, she says that it was not about Johnny Depp and that it was about something else, which I'm going to come back to in a minute. But maybe there's a hint of truth in what she says here, but the truth revealing a different truth, hence the title of the video. So she says the op-ed was not about Johnny Depp, but listen to what she does say. Why did you do that? Because the op-ed wasn't about my relationship with Johnny. But it alluded to him. It, it was unmistakable. It, you know, what the op-ed was about was, um, you know, me loaning my voice to a bigger cultural conversation that we were having at the time. So first of all, as she says those words, the op-ed wasn't about the relationship with Johnny. She has a little bit of a contemptuous smile about her when she says this. So to me, it says a couple of things. First of all, contemptuous perhaps in the sense that Everyone doesn't really realize what this was really about. And the smile that goes along with it, perhaps in a sense, she thinks there's some kind of poetic irony here where she knows the true meaning and the real reason for the op-ed and everyone else doesn't. Everyone else is calling it defamation and she just perhaps had a different reason for it. Instead, she says, the op-ed was about her loaning her voice to a bigger cultural conversation that we, everybody was having at the time. It, you know, what the op-ed was about was, um, you know, me loaning my voice to a bigger cultural conversation that we were having at the time. And that's absolutely right. The timing was right at the height of the Me Too movement. And as she says this, looking down and to the right so as to create some kind of emotional memory or feeling, she's probably thinking about the emotion and the feeling of what it would have been like to be able to, as she put it, loan her voice to the bigger cultural conversation. So in other words, what a lot of people have speculated is that perhaps she wanted to be the voice for this movement. Perhaps she saw it as some kind of leap forward for publicity to, as she put it, loan her voice to this conversation. So perhaps this is just a truth within a truth, because whilst the op-ed remains defamatory, because the reasonable person would infer who she's talking about, and from the op-ed, they have inferred that she was talking about Johnny Depp and the relationship, and therefore all of the things she was complaining about were imputed to Johnny Depp. Perhaps when she was saying she was truthful in writing the op-ed, maybe there is a grain of truth in the sense that when she was writing it, she wanted, in fact, to be lending her voice to this movement and this conversation. But the only way she could do that was to write this piece, which people would understand and believe the meaning behind the words of what she was saying. But in fact, she tried carefully, as she put it with her teams, plural, of lawyers, to try to avoid any kind of defamation, to avoid the inference that it's talking about Johnny Depp. But of course, that ultimately was borne out to be the case, as per the jury verdict. But again, on my further analysis and listening to this interview, these few phrases and choice words that she uses, perhaps in this case, it is just a truth within a truth. So, as always, I'm going to dig further, look for others, leave me any thoughts and observations you've had in the comments, and make sure you hit that like button and subscribe button on the way out. In the meantime, thank you for watching.